holy crap, commuting is a nightmare. Okay, day one of reserve out of six here in Atlanta. I had a 5 p.m. standby shift, five to nine. I was mainly on standby for one of the four day trips, which was Munich or Johannesburg. I really wanted one of those trips. Nobody called out, so I'm headed to my crash pad. I've never been here. And then I have five more days to go. here but I want to give you a little tour while nobody's here at the dollhouse crash pad it's so cute so here's my room They just called me on reserve um, while I was sitting standby. I am going to do a Pittsburgh turn and then hopefully they send me somewhere else so I don't have to pay for a hotel tonight. But as of now, it's just a Pittsburgh turn. Super easy. So basically when scheduling called me when I was on standby in the lounge this morning, they said I was just going to go to Pittsburgh because a flight attendant that was working the trip had an emergency. Well, when I got on the plane, the whole crew was on a three day trip. And so they would have needed to call another person if I would have went back to Atlanta. So my flight leader was like, why don't you just call scheduling and see if they can put you on the trip? That's what I did. Here I am on the trip. It's great for me because now I don't have to pay for another night at a crash pad or a hotel and I get an awesome three day trip. So I'm flying with a friend that I actually knew in Minneapolis. All right, here's my room, really nice. And then here is view which is pretty decent looks kind of cloudy today not the best weather alrighty so time to just relax and get out of this uniform it is day Sunday Monday Tuesday day three day three is today Tuesday day three of my six a days Wow couldn't figure that out you just always forget what day of the week it is and all the days blur together I have six eight days in a row in Atlanta. This is day three. This is day two of a three-day trip. So basically, I am doing a Minneapolis-based trip. So last night, we were in Pittsburgh. I took a nap at like 2 p.m. I think I slept till like 6. My sleep schedule is just so messed up from Japan still. So then I was up really late, went to bed at like 12, 12.30. I had to be up at 4.30, so it's kind of crazy. But I am in Cincinnati tonight and it's opening day of baseball season. So the Cincinnati Reds are playing Cleveland Guardians, I think they are now. So there is a huge parade going on and I just kind of want to walk around the city and see what there is to do. I want to grab some food. I really need to just have, you know, a good workout and a full night's sleep. Okay, I'm tired. So I'm gonna go back to my room, but I had to check out the fun stuff downtown Everybody's hanging out celebrating in the opening day And I wish I had some friends to go to the baseball game with 
and I wish I wasn't so tired and that I didn't have a headache, but that's what I get for being super jet lagged and not getting enough sleep. Sometimes you gotta just take care of your body, but at least I got to walk around and see it. I looked up something vegan nearby and it was like a little cafe called, was it Susie Bees, Honey Bees? I forget, but they have this like amazing mushroom sandwich. So that's what I got with sweet potatoes and I just had a turmeric like ginger coconut soup that was divine highly recommend it's not an all vegan restaurant but they had some vegan options and um, this looks amazing the bread is like full of flavor this doesn't look very good but it's delicious it was cool to see the excitement of the city you know getting ready for baseball season I'm more of a football person myself but I can enjoy a baseball game. I wish I wasn't so exhausted I would go, but I think tickets for the first day are probably a little bit more expensive than I'd want to spend. Um, but yeah, it was still fun to see the hustle and bustle of it all. to San Diego today. I have a two-day trip, so we're leaving Atlanta, one leg to San Diego, and then we have 20 hours there. But like my family's working and my best friend's working, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to get up to. This flight is about four hours long and I'm ready to just be back in San Diego. <music> Okay, so I'm on my layover right now and I just had the best time just relaxing and walking around the art walk. It's kind of bittersweet, I feel like, because I grew up here, I feel like why did I ever move away? I love it here so much and so it kind of makes me sad to be here because it reminds me that I don't live here anymore. But I'm really trying to like reframe the fact that I get to enjoy this place on a layover. I didn't have to find parking, you know, I just got to walk from my hotel, so it was really nice. But it's definitely bittersweet. I just want to have a dog and live in San Diego. Definitely like want to enjoy days like this and the perfection of the weather and the food and just with a someone you care about. I'm super happy, but then I'm also like really sad at the same time. I just feel really lost. That's kind of the latest on me. I did get a surfer burrito from Parakeet Cafe and I veganized it so they took out the eggs and they added guac and holy shit this is like one of the best burritos I've ever had. So if you're in San Diego there's a couple locations. There's one in La Jolla. There's also one in Little Italy. Maybe there's more but get the surfer burrito. It's so good. This is my current status. I am in the middle of the Salt Lake City Airport. I have done an absolute terrible, terrible job of vlogging this past month of me getting back to work. I have never been so tired in my life. <laughs> I have never been so mentally drained and like physically pushed to the like my breaking point. And I haven't even flown that much, but holy crap, commuting is a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. If I lived in Salt Lake and I had a place here and I commuted from Japan and I had a place to go home in between trips, I think I would be a much happier, healthier, overall, more balanced person. So I currently feel like I'm living in the airport. An example of my trips lately because I haven't filmed them, so I'm just gonna spell it out for you. I commuted in from Florida yesterday. I had a 12.52 p.m. flight from Sarasota to Atlanta. In Atlanta, I had about a two hour layover. I was able to go work out, which is really nice because they actually have a gym for the employees of my airline to use whenever we have free time. So that was a godsend. Then I hopped on a, fl a flight from Atlanta to Salt Lake, middle seat, over three hours, not the greatest, but I made it. And then I got to the airport around 6.45 p.m. I waited around at 8 p.m. I checked in for my standby shift. I'm on reserve for three days in a row. It's my A days. So I had an 8 p.m. standby. I was really hoping to not get used and I would get a hotel and I'd get a full night's sleep and shower and feel refreshed and all of that jazz. 
I got used right away for, it's called an illegal or a stand up or a lean over. There's multiple different names depending on where you're based, what they call it. I started in Minneapolis, so I'm used to calling it an illegal. But you basically fly the last flight out to a city and then you fly the first flight back in the morning. So you do get a hotel, but it's only for a few hours. So I probably got about two hours of sleep last night in Milwaukee. So after I landed around 9 a.m., I was done with my trip. I'm technically not legal to fly anymore because that wasn't legal rest. That was my entire duty day and it was about 13 hours. And so I can't work any more than that. So I'm basically off. I guess I could have paid for a night in a hotel but I knew I was probably gonna be working today because the operations have been crazy. And so I waited for a trip to pop up so I could preference it, which I did, and it was the exact same trip. So that's what I'm doing tonight. When I got off work this morning, I went to the lounge, I did some computer CBTs, and then I took a nap. And I tried to nap as long as possible, and I woke up around three. So I probably got maybe I'd say like four hours of sleep, hopefully, give or take. So that was good. And now I'm just in the Salt Lake City Airport. My flight is delayed till 10.30 p.m. So I'm literally just wandering around trying to get some exercise, catch up on some video stuff that I've been doing and trying to stay sane. But I just wanted to explain what this life actually is like. I have so much respect for people that actually vlog and keep up with this. I'm so exhausted and I felt like even if I did film everything or as much as I could, I would never get around to editing it because I don't have a free second of time. I'm really hoping I can finish this illegal and then I am done for the month of May after these A days. So I will technically be this off tomorrow the morning. Then I'm going to go to Australia to see Chris. I can't complain, I'm just, tired and I want to shower. I just want to keep things real and kind of explain what's been going on with me, why I haven't really vlogged that much. I do enjoy doing this. It's just been a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. So I know I had a lot of random ass footage from the past month of flying and doing this and that. That's just kind of what it is and I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching you guys.